Um, all right, let's go to our first sketch after the monologue where we are getting a reprise of a season 46 sketch when Maya hosted where she played Beyonce on Hot Ones. And uh, this time she's back to talk about Cowboy Carter, her country album, and uh, a little bit of the similar beats to what we got last time where she takes a wing and, you know, she's like, okay, it's not that bad. But then she goes to the 530,000 level wing and sweat starts coming down and Start singing and speaking in tongues. Uh, we get an appearance from Keenan. Last time he was to Michelangelo. This time he was to Raphael, trying to help her as much as he could. Um, eventually, we just get, um, you know, it just keeps escalating. Uh, they have to blur her as she's about to burp. Uh, you know, this pouring pours milk on Sean Evans. It just really gets crazier and crazier. And I remember in season forty six watching this one, um, and I, I really liked it. And I do feel like this was uh, escalated from the first one. Like it was better than what we got the first time. So it really felt like a good sequel to this sketch we got in season 46 so rebecca what do you think of the hot ones sketch so i just didn't like it um really? honestly like could be my least favorite of the night and i think i wouldn't say that if we didn't have the anticipation and the sketch in, in season 46 i love that and i watched that one and that's one that i definitely rewatch. but sometimes if something's gold just let it be that way and just like like not touch it and i feel like my has so many awesome like impressions and repeat characters that it was like of all of them to repeat i don't think this one i think it started at a place where it didn't have as much potential because you're kind of not reinventing the wheels the jokes kind of hit the same and there weren't even that many topical like cowboy carter jokes i found in that like besides the outfits and much about it. i mean there were some really funny parts it was like Oh, it's a pleasure. It's it's a pleasure to like that you have me here. And just the Beyonce isms of it all. I kind of wish maybe they brought her on a different talk show or even like chicken wing, like chicken shop talk with it's a different kind of like you're eating food in with, so, with someone from pop culture. I don't know. I wish they didn't just redo it the same way because it, it was hard to top that one and they didn't, in my opinion. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, like Maya's era had a lot more talk shows than this one does. So I actually felt like it was a little refreshing, like just this, you know, the set design, the darkness of it. It's a little like um, the Revista de la Televisión with uh, with Bill Hader, like, you know, like that type of style, the type of thing. It's a different sketch. But but here, I, I don't know. I just felt like they, like Maya was like Maya again was really driving it. Uh, Thomas, do you feel differently than Rebecca? Uh, yeah, I feel a little differently than Rebecca. I was coming off of like, you know, the show started off well, I was on a high, but then I was skeptical. I saw the first, you know, I saw that it was a hot one sketch and I'm like, oh, really? Like, do they have any ideas this week? They're starting off with something that, that she did last episode. And I didn't totally love the first hot ones that she did. I thought, I thought it was just sort of it's kind of flatline for me a little bit, but I think this one was better think i agree with you john i think there was a little bit of escalation from there i like uh, from the first one i like how they set up the premise for this about how it was like retribution for beyonce because she slays at everything and she wanted to slay at this and she didn't do so well last time so they gave us a reason as to why there was a sequel to the last one and i thought there was just it was just more heightened there was more escalation in this one than the first one i especially liked the whole the running joke of like her trying to figure out like she's just said like her uh her bones were hot so she was trying to figure out if she could like replace her bones with other bones that weren't hot so i i, I think that was a funny escalation uh right there i actually enjoyed this one more than the last one uh maya totally made it work for me and i wasn't always the biggest fan of her beyonce uh when she was a cast member on the show but it seems like she got to do more with this beyonce than she even did when she was on the cast. So I found myself skeptical, but it kind of did win me over. Yeah, when she was doing Beyonce in the Prince show, it was really like understated. So, right. you know, we've definitely seen it more since then. I love the like Keenan spraying the lotion in her mouth. And I kept thinking <laughs> like as they kept going, she was like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And like, I was like, they don't do those like physical gags on SNL as much as they used to. Like, I really felt like that was something that was fun there. So it was early for a debatably sexual innuendo. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, was like, it's, SNL. it's yeah. not even 12 right now. Um, it's so. SNL 2024, man. Times are changing. Yeah. And also, I you know. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> 
yeah with conan's hot ones like blowing up recently also it, it kind of felt like it, you know like i wonder if this sketch even gets written if it wasn't for conan's hot ones just like taking over and then it's like okay well hot ones is on everybody's mind so let's do this now again that may be why we saw it tonight 